Hi, my name is Jean, and uh, this is a presentation for a uh, final project uh, for our course 622 Advanced Database. Actually, this is a project for a group. Uh, we have uh, three team members in the group, uh, Kevin, Louis, and me, because they too will graduate. Uh, they are busy for hunting a job, so today uh, I will do the presentation now. Um, First, I will introduce the project. Uh, this project is about uh, uh, developing a website and uh, perform the data mining functionality for the website. Now we use uh, uh, we use the uh, e-auction online shopping system. This is a, a e econ economic auction system. And customers can purchase or make an auction on the website. Uh, we based on this website, we will do the data mining on the on the website. This website is developed by HTML, PHP, and the back end is uh, database Oracle. We also use the JavaScript, Ajax, uh, Dojo. And uh, we use the uh, APUR algorithm to implement the data mining part. The APUR algorithm is uh, written by Java. I will introduce APUR algorithm later on. Let's take a look at the structure of e auction system. On the client side, we use HTML, JavaScript, and uh, AJAX to display the content of the web pages and the uh, server side code we use PHP PHP reads from the database and uh, write into the database when the user uh, for example purchase uh, items and finish the checkout the PHP will write the transaction into the database and uh, when the user inputs the username and password to log on the system, the PHP will read from the read the authentication information from the database to authenticate the user. And also PHP will cause the APU algorithm, which is writing in Java, the GVM will be launched every time one user finish a uh, checkout. The APU algorithm is run, running asynchronously. It takes uh, uh, many support confidence and transaction numbers and also the transactions from the database as the input. Then it generates the association rules and uh, the, those association rules will write back to the database. Then PHP will read the association rules from database and displayed on the website. Now let's take a look at the inside of the APU algorithm. As I said, the APU algorithm takes two steps to generate association rules. First step is to calculate the large item sets. If we have a n number of items, there will be two to the n uh, item sets. If we calculate all of these calculate the support for all of these item sets, it will be a uh, exponential running time. It's very expensive. So here we use the uh, large item sets property uh, downward closer, which means for a non-large item set, all its super sets must be not large item sets. 
so we don't need to calculate such superset. But it also can guarantee that for large item set, all its subset are also large item sets. So here, uh, we take the all the first first round candidate as one item set. Then we will calculate the support for all of the, these candidates. Uh, only the candidates whose support is greater than the minimum support will be go into the large item sets. Then we will use the first round. Here we got the this following large item sets, camera lens, and the camera case. Then we will use this first round large item set to generate the second round candidate, which are the all the combination of uh, two of uh, items, camera and the lens, camera case and the lens, and uh, camera and the camera case. Then compute the support for the second round candidate. We got the following second round large item, which is only the camera and the lens. Second step is to calculate the confidence to generate association rule. Here, the only interesting large item set is camera and the lens. So we calculate the confidence against the rule camera to lens, which is 75%. And the confidence for lens to camera is 100%. If we have the confidence of 50%, that means both of these two rules are association rules generated by the APUR algorithm. Let's take a look at our e-auction system. Here is the home page. As a user, you can purchase or make a bid for an item from our website. Or you can post items for sale. It, of course, has a function of register and count, login, logout, or you can navigate items by category or search items using the keywords. It's not hard to imagine how these functions work, so I'm not going to demonstrate functions. I will focus on the data mining function. If your algorithm needs three um, inputs, minimum support, confidence, and uh, transactions, all of these inputs are right into the database. So let's take a look at our database. The table params stores the support, minimum support and the confidence. Here we have a minimum support of 50% and confidence of 50%. Buy now trends is a table to store all the transactions. Now we don't have any transactions here. And uh, association rules is a table to store all the generated association rules. We don't have uh, any rules either. So let's start from the very beginning of our website. Assume I am a customer, I want to purchase some camera. I logged in the website and I select one camera. Let's take a look at the database. The first transactions of our website contains item 14 and 15.
Now let's see the association rules table. Because we have only one transaction, so the support for item set 14 and 15 is 100%. So the confidence is also 100%. We have uh, two association rules. One is from 15 to 14, and another is from 14 to 15. Go back to the our website to see how this association rules displayed. Now this time I select the same camera and uh, drill down the bottom I can see the website also recommend me this camera lens because some other customers purchase these two together. I add this camera to my cart. And I continue to add this lens to my cart. This time I want to purchase a camera bag. Here it is. Now I have three items in my shopping cart. I place this order. Checkout finished. A new transaction should be ended and the association rules should be updated. So next time when a new customers come in, when they see the navigate the cameras, When they click the camera case, they can also see these two related items. So, um, for, from this final project, uh, we learn how the Apple UR algorithm works, how we implement it to uh, finish our data mining functionality in our website. Uh, so. Um, I think our website is developed uh, in like uh, three weeks, so if we have more time, we want to improve it uh, with, for example, we will uh, to check the customer's view history to give the more specific uh, recommendation, use the uh, April year algorithm and uh, uh, get the, get the there are more interesting stuffs displayed on the website for the customers. Mm -hmm.